Frederick McKinley Jones, Black Inventor, born 1892, died 1961. Frederick McKinley Jones invented the first automatic refrigeration system for trucks. His cooling system later was adapted for use on ships and railway cars. Jones was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1892. His mother died when he was nine, and he managed to complete only the sixth grade. He was raised by a priest in Covington, Kentucky, until he was 16. When he left the rectory, Jones took on a number of odd jobs, from pin boy at a bowling alley to a mechanics helper at a Cincinnati garage. Within three years, his skills and love for cars had netted him a promotion to shop foreman. By 19, he had also built and driven several cars and racing exhibitions. Often, he raced his company's cars without permission, for which he was fired. Later, he took a chief's mechanic position on a 30,000-acre farm near Halleck, Minnesota. He continued reading about cars and applied his knowledge whenever possible. During World War I, Jones was a sergeant in the U.S. Army, and served in France as an, as an electrician. After the war, Jones returned to Minnesota. He started to study electronics, eventually building a transmitter for a new Halleck radio station. Joseph Numero, who owned a motion picture equipment company, hired Jones as an electrical engineer. Numero's company made sound equipment that was used in movie houses throughout the Midwest. Jones gained local fame for taking silent movie projectors and converting them to talking projectors using various odds and ends. In 1939, Jones invented and received a patent for a ticket dispensing machine for movie houses. Jones and Numero, Numero eventually formed a partnership, a partnership called the U.S. Thermo Control Company, with Jones as vice president. By the 1930s, Jones had devoted his time to making portable air cooling units for cross-country trucks that could keep food and other perishables cold. A need for a unit for storing blood serum for transfusions and medicines during World War II led Jones into refrigeration research. A version of those refrigeration systems is still in use today. In 1944, Jones was elected a member of the American Society of Refrigeration Engineers. U.S. Thermo eventually became a multi-million dollar operation by making refrigeration systems for trucks, trains, ships, and planes. During the 1950s, Jones was a consultant to the U.S. Department of Defense and the U.S. Bureau of Standards. Jones had more than 60 patents with 40 in the area of refrigeration. He died in Minneapolis in 1961. Citations are in the description.